So um, now I will demonstrate you a function of the glenohumeral joint. So we have to put uh, the uh, transducer in a sterile cover that we will um, can puncture it uh, very safely. So the nurse will help me put the cover on the transducer. So, okay. And now we have the sterile cover over the transducer. It's very important that it's really in an aseptic condition. And adjust this cover. So, and once again, we will we will um, make a disinfection of the injection site, and it's very important that it's, it's, uh, the skin is, is wet, that we have a very good connection to the transducer. Here you see the bulging of the capsule, uh, and we will now inject, we try to inject into the capsule the steroid. So we go so-called in-plane technique. I, go, I just look at the capsule, then I look at the cetus. Now it sticks a little, give a stitch. And now we are searching the needle. Here is the needle. Here is the needle tip. And now the needle tip is a little bit too. Once again, we see the needle tip. We have to go a little bit steeper, steeper. And now the needle tip is into the capsule. And you see the bulging of the capsule as I'm injecting the steroid. And you're going out with the needle and the puncture is done. And you see very, can see very clearly that the steroid is inside the capsule.